Michael Burry is one of the most famous investors in the entire world, mostly from shorting the housing bubble in America from 2005 to 2008. This personally made Michael Burry a very rich man. He profited $100 million himself and $700 million for his other investors. Along with the popular movie, The Big Short, has made the internet see Michael Burry as the proverbial canary in the coal mine. When the canary says there is something wrong with the stock market, the whole world stops to listen. Michael Burry in the last 12 months has been relatively quiet. However, he has made his opinion quite clear in 2023 and earlier years that he foresees a market crash happening. Most of these calls were made during the months of January, February and March of 2023 and then he stated he's made a mistake and changed his mind last year. However, the recent changes in his portfolio suggest he is still negative towards the US stock market because he has to provide quarterly updates to his portfolio at Scion Asset Management. As of March of 2024, Michael Burry dumped a lot of his big tech holdings, some names he sold 100% of his stocks in. For example, we have Amazon, Google, and Oracle, all big tech US stocks. He sold all of those three positions. You can see with the buy updates, he's replaced US big tech with names like Physical Gold ETF, a gold-based investment. He's got Cigna Holding, which is a health insurance company, which I actually personally own, which is kind of cool. He also has BP, the English oil company, and Baidu, which is a Chinese internet stock. And swinging all the way to the far right, we see the largest holdings in his portfolio now make up about 24% in Chinese internet stocks. We can see what's happened to some of those investments since that time period. And what I'm going to do is quote the maximum and then the least gains in those names he sold out of. Google is up 45% as a maximum possible return. The lowest end is 18%. So that's a pretty decent investment that Michael Burry has since missed out on. Oracle is a business services company. That name is up 26% as a maximum or as low as 7%. And the last of his big sales is Amazon here. This company is up 18% or as low as 7% since the first quarter. Amazon has had a decent 9% sell-off in the recent couple weeks weeks. It's grown 50% profits this year, 30% the next two years after that. And you're only paying a forward P ratio of 32 for 2025 calendar year earnings. That's quite cheap for the growth and the name and brand that you have in Amazon. If you want to see a larger breakdown of Amazon stock, you'll see a link above my head. If we compare those investments with the other names that Michael Burry has bought, let's start with that physical gold ETF, which is Sprott. That is actually up about 18% in the same time period. So even if Michael Burry missed out on some decent gains with big tech, his gold position's actually done quite well. If we move on to the Chinese internet sector, that is perfectly summarized by the ETF KWeb. So this is again Chinese internet, and that has been at a standstill for really the past two years, and nothing has really changed there. In that sense, Michael was better off staying with the US equivalent of big tech and I think there's many reasons why we could see America outperform. Another recent video we looked at was the Chinese corporate debt situation is making it really hard for the Chinese consumer to be confident and the slowing demographics of China, their working age population is shrinking whereas America's is still growing. Lots of signs are pointing towards America winning the next decade. As we sit today, big tech has had some recent weakness. We've seen a sell-off in many great companies down 9%, 15%, in the last month. So Michael Burry is not the only large investor that's been selling out of large US tech companies. There's no fundamental reason why it's been happening, but I believe it's been a sentiment shift about the upcoming US election. There's a bit of uncertainty. We have the assassination story around Trump and the Biden administration now changing
changing to putting up Kamala Harris as their front runner. So that's created some anxiety in the market. There's also been some comments from Trump saying he wants to bring back the tariffs and start those trade wars again. And he wants Taiwan and the semiconductor industry, so Taiwan Semiconductors, the company, to pay for a lot of the national defense that America has been providing for Taiwan. So a lot of those negative comments have been putting pressure on large tech companies. Bringing everything from today's video all together, we have a Michael Burry who's moving away from US tech companies as well as the rest of the market also doing that. So is this a moment like 2005 where Michael Burry is a bit too soon in predicting a downfall of a particular area of the market? Or do you think Michael Burry is going to be right and that US tech companies are going to be weak, not perform for the next 12 months. I'm going to give you my personal opinion about what I think is going to happen. So just some random guy talking to a camera in Australia. But I think the next six to 12 months, we're gonna see some euphoria go back into the market. As the US election result begins to look more certain, that's when you start to see that classic seasonality trend of strong market gains towards the end of this year. We have also been seeing a refusal of the US economy to go into recession. It's been clinging on for dear life. It is getting slower, there's less job openings, there's slightly more unemployment, but like I said, it's deep in its claws and it's refusing to go in recession. So it seems like we have another six to 12 months of a healthy US economy at least left in this cycle. And big tech companies have definitely rewarded investors for staying loyal, keeping their money invested as long as the economy stays healthy. Comment down your opinion about what you think is gonna happen to big tech. Are they the names to stick with or should we be taking our gains and be running in the opposite direction? I wanna thank my YouTube members who sponsor the channel for one US dollar a month. Thanks for your time, guys. Bye.